Hey, it's Kevin DeWitch here and welcome to the Past His Prime YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel and you're interested in relaxed, casual gaming for an older generation, then please subscribe to my channel. Like the video and click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. All right, welcome back to Planet Zoo. In a previous video, we uh, had a very quick one and finished off our silver medal for the Career Mode 7, the Myers Animal Entertainment Park. And now we're going to see if we can get to our gold. Now, this looks a little bit more complicated and we don't have anything already ticked off here. So this is going to take a little bit of effort, I think, and a bit of planning. But we're going to try. So it might take a couple of videos. We'll see how we go. So first off, if we go through the list here, now, we've got to house four different species in a single habitat. Yeah, okay. We've got all these rescue animals and place two Himalayan brown bears. Now, my understanding is he has given us the brown bears. So we need to transfer to the zoo our brown bears. So we're going to have to obviously find somewhere to place them. And that is obviously one of our tasks. So what I also want to have a look at here is power everything in the zoo with renewable energy for 12 months. Right. So that in itself is going to be pretty tricky, I think, because... We're going to have to research. Oh, okay. We don't have to research power. We already have researched the power. So that's good. So we just need to actively go around and replace any power with these items of some form or another. So it's still going to be tricky, but we need to do it and we need to do it for 12 months. Okay, so where are we going to put our brown bears? Let's just have a look at what, what do we have available to us in the way of habitats? Um... Is that a habitat? Or could it be a habitat? I don't see why it can't. Okay, so that's all that stuff. We've got open paddocks here. Uh, I'm assuming we got stuff in this one. Yeah, we've got rhinos in there. Now, we don't have anything in here. It just seems quite large for bears. That's the only thing. That would be more... I'd be thinking the four creatures, maybe? Four animals, something like that. Um. Okay, all the mandrels are in that one. Oh, that's a big double one. Okay. That's just where I put the Bengal, which we do need to make sure he is happy before we get carried away here. There's too much sand. Wants a bit more short grass. So let's try, see if we can get that under control. I'm not sure where the sand is. Where is the sand? Yeah, and now we get too much short grass. It's had a bit more long.
Okay. That's good. He's got that happy. He's happy with that. Plants. He is not happy with the plants. Let's see. Okay. Doesn't like that one there. I really wish there was a way to be able to sort of... Oh, you can. Oh, you idiot. You can just remove it from here. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? Okay, no enrichments. Understand. Let's get this foliage under control first. So, nature. We're going to filter for continent of azure. Biome is temperate tropical grassland. Okay. That is no. Oh my god, they're huge. Okay, we don't need that bit. Mm, have we got small stuff? Here we go. They like this stuff, don't they? Uh, put some top. Undo that. That was uh, pretty hideous. Oh, I didn't know I could do a quick bunch, but there you go. Sort of building a little forest here almost. Okay, uh... Space is a bit of a premium, really. Right, clearly like a lot of plants. There we go. Okay, that's enough with that. Let's have a look now at the enrichments. Do we have anything? We have a sprinkler. Okay, that's a toy enrichment. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any food enrichments. Okay. Uh, animal has adequate number of animals in its social group. So it's quite happy to be by itself. Okay. Um, let's just get that going. Now, I just want to check the traversable area. Yeah, that's good. Okay, it's all covered. All right, they can't get out. Well, he can't get out. Right, I am happy with that. And what I do want to do, though, because I stupidly bought that other one, which I don't need. I'm going to release that one back into the world. Yeah, I don't get all my, my conservation credits back, but it'll do for now. 
And what are the vets doing? Let's get one of the vets researching the Bengal tiger so that maybe we can get some enrichments if we need it. Right, back to what I was actually doing, which was about the bears. Now, the bears. What bears did we get? Himalayan brown bears. Um, okay, I thought I could go to the Zoopedia from there, but I can't. Himalayan brown bears just need 550 meters squared, zero of that, zero of that. A grade four climb proof greater than two meters. Okay. That is glass. And that. That's all glass? which is only grade two. So that's not gonna help. So going to put some brick in to start with. So I'm gonna go there, we're gonna join it to that. Then we'll go this side. Okay, we'll shoot across here. Where's the other side of the glass panel? I can't see because of the dang trees. Okay, it's actually there, so let's make it a bit shorter. And we'll join it to there, okay. Now I'm gonna make that brick, that brick, that brick. That brick. Interesting. Nothing is across the back. That's probably not going to be a smart thing. So let's just zip around. Okay, so basically, uh, right now, we just have an open access. <laughs> okay. Okay, end of the barrier. I'm gonna put glass in there just to keep that look. Wait, because we wanted to have that open feel that was sort of there before. The sides can be barricaded off. Let's select this front bit. Just to there. We'll put glass in there and we'll also go up. Pretty high. I don't know, four meters, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks good. All right, so let's get out of that. So I'm guessing we don't have a gate here, do we? Okay, so let's chuck a gate on somewhere. Okay. Let's grab a path. Oh, I don't care what path, just put the bloody path there. All right, so we have path. We need to move some of these things. Uh, this needs to move. Uh, M for move would be good. We'll put it over there. This one will just pull out a bit as well. that one out I just don't want them in the fence because that could be actually 
not good for business. Right, okay, let's get the bars over. Um, okay, these are the two bears, so we're going to move them. I'm going to put them in quarantine first. Hopefully. Okay, let's get playing. Now let's do our filter. Himalayan brown bears. Okay, let's get back over where it was, which I've lost. There it is. Uh, what is the size? 1220. Okay, that's fine. So we need to put in some stuff here. So I'm going to put in a food tray. Now we go to the large. Put it there. Some water, put it there, and yeah, we'll get some fro some ice, whatever that is, another block of ice. Okay, that's all we've got. That is all we have. Okay, they have a real problem with cleanliness in this one. Now, why won't the keeper clean it? It's just lots of crap. Lots of crap. Power cut. Okay. Uh, where? Okay, we've lost some power. Now, what are these things? Are they power? Oh, that's just a shop. Okay, what I want to see is, what is the power? That's the transformer there. Okay. What I want to do... Okay, so here is a transformer. Let's go to facilities and power. So we want renewable energy. You got solar and you got wind turbine. What covers more? How can you tell what the coverage is? So here's the thing. Do I have to sell this? Let's have a look. Power everything in the zoo with renewable energy for 12 months. Right. So that means that I need to get rid of this. Now, when I look at power now, we have a problem. Now, if I put one of these here... Doesn't quite cover the lot. If I put solar, that's actually even less. So the wind turbine is bigger. Right, so we'll start by, I guess, placing this in the spot that it was. Okay. 
Okay, but then we need to compensate over here somewhere. Okay, and I think we can do that pretty easily because I did add this section here. Get out of the group. Why are you in a group? So now if I put that there, we have it covered. Okay. Now let's go back to H again. I'm just going to start with the outers, I think. Okay, so we're going to delete that. And then we're going to replace it with a wind turbine. Why can't it? I don't know. Okay. I think the easiest way to do this is just... Just replace them all straight away and then see what gaps I have. Why is it not? Oh. I was accidentally hitting G, which I think meant that I got rid of it. So I'll delete that. And then we're going to put this, hopefully, in here. Oh, I did it again. Okay, it's that way there. Okay. All right, what else have we got? We got this one here. Okay, we're going to delete that. Sneak it back in there. Okay, and what else we got? Mm, that's interesting. Why does it say it has no power? Is it because it doesn't like being inside? Is it actually that smart? Could be. It could very well be that smart. Okay, so by this, this is the last one. Which way is the path? Oh, it's there. Okay. No, don't favorite it. Right. Okay, so I think we have replaced all of them. We've got that one there. Okay, I don't know what that is. What is that? It's not powered, whatever it is. Okay, so that's covering all of there. We've definitely got quite a few missing components here, so we need to compensate. Uh, I need to work this out first. Because this is not good. Alright, so we're going to move it. Uh, 
I don't know. Well, it seems to think it's in the right spot. Let's just play for a minute and see what... Is it because it's in a building? Okay, well this thing needs a mechanic, it's about to blow up. I mean, you could just move it entirely off and put it out here. Exit the damn group, please. Okay, that is now going to work. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so what we want to do is find some more spots. I need something to cover here. So we could go down here maybe. Chuck one there. That'll cover that up. Need something over here. What do we got? What have we got in the way of space? Exit the group, please. Okay, we could put that there. Ah, we're missing something at the back here. Right here, at the back, okay. Okay, that's now covered. That's... I keep clicking this stupid thing. All right. We're missing around here. Okay, so we sort of need something around here. Okay, let's exit out of that. He's probably going to give us a negative rating or something. Ah, we need more here. It's just a pity they don't make these things strong as uh, other things. The renewable energy is not as strong. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, where are we missing now? So we need something probably over here. Just trying to think. That's probably it. If we just cover here, I think we're pretty good. Something over here.
Right, let's get out of that. No, let's go back in it. Now let's just press pause. I'm just going to see. I'm not sure why that is red. It's either because it's not finished or something. Because it's definitely got power there. Looks like everything's got power. Let's get out of this group. Power everything in the zoo with renewable energy. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Right, so let's get back on to... We'll leave that for a bit. We'll have to come back and check in a moment. Now, let's find our bear thing. Here it is. Okay, let's grab our two bears that have passed quarantine. And we'll move them right in here. And now we'll wait. Call the vet, we've got diseases. And call the keeper because nobody seems to want to actually look after them. Now I keep losing my bears, here we go. Alright, there's one bear. Okay, we'll just wait for the second one to come in. Uh, let me actually pause it because we want to do the right thing. Oh, it's not. Ah, oh, no. It's not traversable. Really? They can't climb up these spots. Oh, no. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> what does that mean for me now? Okay, it means I need to do something to fix that it can't get up these steps. And I can't edit it. Okay, let's just close this because there's no point working on this if we can't get it traversable. Now, I've done it in the past... By doing weird things like uh, building a ramp out of rock. Now, it's not always the greatest way to do things. But it has definitely worked before. So if I go OK and then I can continue. Uh, to 
take a rock up. Flatten that out, take it down a bit. Well, uh, okay, we probably want it like that. It's okay that, let's put another one. Now the tricky part is, I don't even know if they can walk on this. I can't walk on that. Then you got a slight problem because I have to go around and do all of this. Okay, but before I do that, let's let's see if this works at all. Okay, traversable. Let's play it again. We got close. Okay, this one here needs to be adjusted because it didn't quite, didn't quite do it. Actually, what if I adjust this one? Angle it a bit less. Take it down a notch. Okay, let's see this time. We're getting closer. No, we still can't get up this bit here. Bugger. Why, oh why, oh why? If I sink it down. Let's try again. No, it does not want to go up there. Ah, this is going to be a real problem. Yeah, what if I bring him out? Give him some more distance. I mean, it's going to look stupid as. Uh, but it might solve the problem. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay, and as I suspected, they can't walk on that. Which is not, that's not good. All right, so it means uh, it means that I need to be able to now put these down.
Okay, so uh, I finally got this working. I tried to do this with the um, bricks here, which cover the top. I just couldn't get it to come up this way. But then I found that they have the uh, climbable stuff under their habitat thing, these logs, and I've managed to place them in a way that they are now accessible. So if I highlight this, you can see it's got green lines. I don't know why they show green lines, but anyway, you can see they can now walk around up here. And now we've got our distance covered, our size, which is good. Took a bit of effort and obviously it was probably not the uh not what the game wanted me to do but i'd already committed to this spot so i uh was sticking to it okay so now we need to fix a few things up here so way too much long grass and too much sand and they want snow which means we need to put coolers in. So we're going to start with... We'll put one cooler in the middle there to start with. Now what I'm going to do is do our terrain and I'm just going to go wild with snow. Just paint all of this pretty heavily with snow. Okay, now, obviously now we've got too much rock because that's what happens when you put snow down. So now we are gonna put some soil back. In various spots here and there. Let's get you this rock down a bit. Okay. Mm, yep. All right. That's good. Okay. Plant life. They do not like that at all. Do not like that. And then want some more coverage. Now this is going to be interesting because this could take away the space. But we've got to try. We've got to try. So we're going to go with Asia and it is Tundra. Okay. Those two there. Oh. We had rock selected, so I was wondering why there was nothing coming up. Uh, it was purely just because I had rock still selected. Now. <laughs> I was hoping that was going to trick them. Okay, so these ones I just placed all on the roof there do not count whatsoever. Okay. Do these count if I put them? Seems they do. Don't know if it's going to help with coverage, but... Trying to find spots that maybe we could put them that's not going to impact too much on their um, ability to get places. That was silly. Because if I place them all on bits they can't get to anyway. 
then it'll have no Im negative impact on their ability to walk around. a big patch I could have done that somewhere can you, if you put it on the fence oh yeah it counts it counts which is good because as I said we get the value up but we do not impact their uh, traversability right so we've got that uh, enrichments, we are pretty much stuck with what I threw in, which was just the frozen fruit and the block of ice, which is one of each. And I happy with the temperature, but it's kind of come down. Let's see. Now... Let me just see, what temperature do they actually like? Minus 10 to 22 degrees, okay. So, I mean, we could take this down. See if we can get it pretty cold. Okay, we're getting some snow. Okay, we need to get more snow. Now, can you put coolers up here? Do they work? get these suckers down as well problem is I don't think you can get snow up there but still might be able to get the temperature down temperature is fluctuating no I think it's good now Let's have a look. Temperature. We're sort of missing a bit of the front here, aren't we? I think ideally, I would probably move this back to there and then duplicate it. to there and again we'll put one here one here <sighs> no and then I'll move this back here and move that one back here So hopefully, I don't know why, well, that's the range, why did I turn the range down? I thought I was turning the temperature down, I did the wrong control, I want the range to be big, you idiot. So I was the one that impacted that. Okay. So now we should get some more snow. We've just got some ring-tailed lemurs which were... Oh, let's go with rescued from someone's house. 
these. Yeah. Go on, find somewhere in the zoo for them. Okay. So, let me just have a look at what we've done here. So, we've only done one task. So, why is it not counting that power everything in the zoo with renewable energy is working? I need to check that because there's something's not right. What is not powered by renewable energy? That's all renewable, that's all renewable. This gate here is still something wrong with that door. Now, if I delete it, since there's nothing in there, will that now trick it to thinking that everything is powered? Or are we, is it, you don't tell me it's literally complaining about this one thing. It probably is. It probably is. Okay, well, if that's the case. Okay, I'm going to unpause. Yeah, it, it was either the door or it was this one little thing. Because now we are working. Okay. All right, so we have some ringtail lemurs. Let's transfer them to storage. Okay, now what do we have? Can they live with mandrels? Okay, there's no interspecies. Hmm. What did we get? Ringtail. Ringtail lemurs. They can live with red rough lemurs. Well, it's not what they can. They get a bonus from it. So... Okay, um, because what we do need to do is this here is house four different species in a single habitat as well. Now, where's the mandrel and how crowded is that? Where the heck is that's this one here, right? This is the mandrel one, so can we just put them in there? Okay, I think we need to get rid of some of these peafowls. There are so many of them. Are there still kids, though? Okay, so these guys here, can we move them to there?
Yeah, there's a vet in the route. For that, let's go and have a look at our Bengal tiger. Ah, that's really impressive. Ah, oh, shake the water off and everything. Okay. Are they out yet? They are out. All right, let's pause it. Let's just have a look. Plants. Okay, they're not happy about some of the plants. I don't really care about these plants. Okay, their welfare is 79%. Uh, it's not the greatest. Well, what we could do first off is just quickly have a look at the, what do you call it? Enrichments. What are they missing? Toys. Okay, well. There's a toy, there's a toy, and there's a toy. Okay, um... So what does that put you now? 88%. So he's still not happy with the plant, but uh, I think we can live without that. Because what I'm worried about is that if we find the mandrel, if I click. Uh, he's Africa and tropical. African Tropical. Oh, okay. Well, so in theory, we can put some plants in. It would not hurt. I don't think it would hurt. Yeah, let's have a look. Um, tropical. Right, so we'll just put some things in. You know, whatever. Just scatter a few things around. Doesn't like the Bengal bamboo, but it's in its category. Oh, I've got Asia, you idiot. Whoops, I'm in Africa. Okay, for some reason I had Asia, but anyway. Uh, yeah, didn't like those either. Pretty 
pretty easy to understand why, considering I had the entirely the wrong continent in. Jesus, that's big. There we go. Now let's just check the mandrel. Oh, well, they weren't happy anyway. They want more coverage. Well, that's really, really weird. Um, what else can we put in? Yeah, they still want more, but that is huge. Oh, I don't know. Can we get away with a tree that big? Not likely. Well, that definitely gives you coverage. <laughs> um, where's the little ringtails gone? Yeah, okay, they're all, they're all happy with the coverage. All right, let's just play it. Yeah, I know we've got negative impacts. You can just get over it. 25 and $20. If you want higher ticket prices, you can have higher ticket prices. But you still think it's under pro no there we go it goes away okay so we have rescued three of five our shops are not making the profit we want that's unfortunate we are slowly ticking over our power which is good okay um i think we are going to Pause. And we're going to call it quits there. Oh, we paused it with a lemur flying in, a ring-tailed lemur flying through the air. I'm curious to see where he ends up. Here we go. Let's have a look. If I unpause... He's walking down a virtual pair of stairs. That's really good. Okay. He's magic. Oh, look at this. We've got a whole... Oh, I thought we had a group, but it's because... I thought they were having like a family time, but it's because they're eating. They're all around the food eating. Some little baby mandrels. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh, as I said, let's call it quit on this video and we will come back and finish off, hopefully finish off our gold medal in the next video. All right, well, hopefully that was enjoyable. Please remember, if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel, click the like button, click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. Go and check out some of my other videos here that are linked on the side. And I thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.